Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and uh, once again, I am joined with the lovely Jolene on this beautiful evening. Hello! Yes, welcome! <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good! We were so just as a quick- we were supposed to start a little while ago, it is now 30 minutes past because we just kept getting distracted about talking about different shit. <laughs> But you know, it was a fun distraction. I got I got to learn a lot of things. A lot of things. Yeah, like uh, like like. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're we're back for some more Wattpad reading, and uh, why not read more Law X Reader? <laughs> I love I love Law. Yeah, me Don't too. Don't know who he is yet, but uh, yeah, you're not even close. <laughs> Wait, I was looking it up. Four, it was like four hundred something. I'm yeah. like twenty five percent there. Yeah, you got it. Oh, dude. You twenty percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just as a side note, uh, she is on. She just started the Alabasta arc, so she got yeah. through the East Blue. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean that that was so unenthusiastic? No, no. I mean like. <laughs> <laughs> what I sound like. You're like, yay, I'm glad and I'm no. here. How do I do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, did you did you see the clip I sent you? Ah uh, yeah. How about no? And now I'm almost a hundred episodes. Yeah, in. I was like, oh shit, look at this. This thing's bad. Yeah. Maybe I'll repost it at and some is point. Is it is it really bad or is it good? It aged well. Yeah. You know, some convincing. Me <laughs> being like, we got hot guys, and you're just like, you gave me like the rock face of just like, <laughs> and then you started. Uh, no, it's gonna be the really specific one. Like, it's not the usual one, it's the one where he's in the black turtleneck and the chain. But let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting distracted. All right, we're on chapter oh. 13 right now. <laughs> we're, we're, we're living life right now, we're living like Gary, so. Oh shit, you know what I forgot to do before this? What? Put in her information. <laughs> Penny with pink eyes. Uh, pink eyes? Hold on, hold on. Alright, so it's in there. Okay, we're fine. Before I went off to the war. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we gotta return. When will my husband return from the war? Yeah. Apparently, it only took like five days, a week, what, something me? like that. Yeah. I'm your husband? Oh my god, hold thank up. you. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. You, you I'm sorry. Oh, oh okay. Oh I Get left me. on... Like, I, I officially left on the 8th. That's when I had to switch in the airplane mode. And then I came back on the 14th, so... Yeah, I've been gone for a week. I left the legacy behind when I did. Alrighty. Chapter I'm 13. sorry. No, you're fine, dude. You got you got a lot of things going. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'm I'm trying to find a penny in the midst of all this crap that's on my desk. A penny. Yeah. That oh, like to flip. Yeah, to flip. Do you have a penny? I can flip. I get, I don't have a penny, but I have a circular object that can be used as a penny. Oh fuck yeah! All right, you do it. Okay. Uh, Which side? heads or tails? The, like, the tiger side or the inside side? I'll take the it's inside a side. Tiger. Okay, hold up. It's gonna hit the floor. Okay. Oh. I fell under the damn couch. <laughs> I can't have anything. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me find something. I can do this. I'm just kidding. Anywhere outside me, it's dead. What would it take for her to see the man? Okay, okay, I have a pin. I have a pin that is broken. Okay. Do you want the, the, the safety pin side, or do you want the shiny side? Shiny. And you're too shiny. My turn. Okay. Oh, you get to read first, dude. Ooh, is that a first? That, I don't know. What, you starting? I think that is the first of you starting. Yeah, oh my god. That's so iconic. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Academy for letting me start this wonderful book. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. 
Going back to your workplace was weird. It had always been. You usually worked from home and going there was just out of your comfort zone. Everyone knew who you were, but not many liked you because of your relationship with your boss. A lot that that was unfair, that, uh, unfair, but those who took time to read your books actually thought you were great, but not to the point to have them as friends. Zombie girls coming, you heard someone say behind your back. You were used to nicknames at this point, so you dismissed them. As soon as you reached your boss's office, you got inside to avoid being watched anymore. Penny, how are you doing? He said, not giving you a chance. Not giving you a chance at hugging you. I heard you were settling okay so far. Yeah, it's been almost a week. I've been writing again, too. He let go of you with his, hap with his happy grin on his face. How's Mo Noemi? Good. She doesn't say it, but she's been worried sick about you. You smiled when you heard that. Please sit. I have something to discuss with you. You nodded and sat obser observing the familiar desk with the funny little toys and three pictures. Your boss said he only placed important stuff on his desk. The first photo was of his wedding. The second one, when he started his company. And the last, a family one. Him, Noemi, and you when you were really young. Did you call me to talk about the books? You asked nervously. It was almost done before the accident. You just needed some time. I've been writing since I returned, and I think I could finish it by the end of the month. Penny, I think you should have a break. He said nicely as he could. You have been through so much lately, and the book will only stress you more. Because we worry about your health, we want you to take some time off. What? You couldn't believe what he was saying. It was all that it was all that you wanted to do, and he was not letting you do it. You can't be serious. You can deliver your book next month, but I don't want to hear anything work-related coming from you. You clenched your fists. It hurt you. He was hurting you. I ask you, please take some time to yourself. I can't, you said. <laughs> You said covering your mouth. I'm sorry. That was just... I'm sorry. I was like... I tried, to, I tried to emote, but it's like, it's not working. <laughs> you said covering your mouth. I'm so close to finishing it. Please let me send it. Look, please let me just send it to you. We won't check it, he said coldly. We'll talk about the book next month. I'll find someone else to publish it. You stood up in anger. You have a contract with the company, he said with a serious face. You hated that face. Penny, I care about your health. After what happened, I don't think it'll be, a, it'll be a good idea to come back so soon. As your boss, I would love to see the new book, but as your father... As canonical father? Did we go over this last time? I thought it was just your boss. Bro, it is your father! <laughs> <laughs> but as your father, I don't think it's a good... I don't think it's good for you to force yourself after these situations. You're not my father! <laughs> Mm -hmm. Taking your things and walking. Oh my god! <laughs> you didn't look back. Sitting at the door behind you and walking out with some tears in your eyes. Everyone who said something received a deadly glare from, from your behalf and that, and that shut them up. But as soon as you got into the streets, you walked. That's the only thing that helped you calm down when you were like that. You'd been working on the last book of your mystery series for a long time. It was already bad that the accident prevented you from finishing it. But now your boss wouldn't allow you to turn it in, even if you wanted it. I'm sorry. I'm what? Like, how did you do that? You know what I'm doing? What, my voice? <laughs> yeah, I just was been so high pitched and I was like, what? Dude, what I'm a this? very, I'm very talented. Very I can, talented. I can, wait, hold on. I'm I got sorry, that just... Wait, I had this other voice I did for, like, a Paper Mario thing. And this is the voice I gave the character. But hold on. Well, howdy, like, was that let's fix you for a fight, huh? I'm like, that's the voice I gave the character throughout the entire so thing. Cute. I'm not gonna reminisce on what that means to me, but... I'm gonna keep going. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Alrighty. Actually, you know what? If I... <laughs> It reminds me of those little, those plush Mario skits that they uploaded onto YouTube back in, like, early YouTube. Oh, Those my... were great. Wait, 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 yeah. plush content? Yeah, like the plush where they play with the plushes and they do the voices and they do the action. Oh, my God. Do you watch Super Mario Logan as a kid? No. Oh, shit, never but mind. I sound stupid. Proceeding. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. <laughs> One... 
Uh, it wasn't just that. Finishing this saga would free you from it. You wanted to write another book for years, the book of your dreams. But since you started the mystery one, you'd been requested more and more until you convinced them to do a final one. Until they convinced you to write a final one. Every time you were close to ending the saga, something came up and you couldn't. It was frustrating and overwhelming. When your mind stopped dozing off, you found yourself in a park. You'd never been there, or at least not that you remember. How long have I walked? You asked yourself. It had been it had happened before that had happened before that because you were thinking about something else and you ended up getting lost. Thirty minutes away. You read the map up. You weren't you weren't that far away from home, but you didn't want to be there. You found a nice bench and watched people pass by. Your phone only helped to remind you that you had a lot of missed calls and million, billions of texts from your boss. It was nice seeing people. You could learn a lot of nice things from them, but from just how they looked. You hated the, you can't judge a book, a book by its cover, but the cover still says a lot. Do you mind? Do you mind doing the, the dog noise? <laughs> Thank you. Yep. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> can't, can't catch me barking at no one. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I got you. I'm over here in the corner like bark, 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 bark. <laughs> a big dog came run running in your direction. It didn't have a leash, but it had a collar. Instead of growling, barking, or biting, it kindly laid at your feet. Hey there, you said, ca caressing its head. Who are you? You were about to take the collar to read it, but the dog barked again. Ooh, you don't want me to know. <laughs> the dog stood and ran around the bench where you were, asking you to play. Ah, I'm sorry. Beppo, come here. The dog stopped when it heard the tired and annoyed voice, and you looked around to see who it belonged to. It seemed so familiar. So, Beppo? The dog jumped when he heard his name coming from you, making him happy. You should go with your owner, you know. The dog growled when he said that. Woof! <laughs> <laughs> Starry <laughs> Phoenix as the dog. <laughs> you know what? You wanted me to cosplay Beppo, and I'm just like, I cannot do it for you. Dude, there's before. there's cosplays of Beppo that are just like like kind of humanoids and whatnot, where they just have like bear mm -hmm. ears and stuff, and do like like they do like a half like human, half bear kind of thing. They don't put on like on a fur suit. Could you imagine if someone did? Okay, cool. that actually would be pretty cool. I, I won't lie. Alright, this Thank is your you. sign, Jolene. Put on the furry <laughs> suit. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he barked when the man... He barked when the man that was calling him... Stopped him. Spotted him. He hid behind the bench you, you were on. Beppo. I keep forgetting him. Penia. Trafalgar. Beppo barked again when he heard his name. Law was sweating and panting. He'd been chasing Beppo for over an hour. What a surprise. He smiled. <laughs> Sorry again for the other day. Leave it like that. Beppo! He called the dog. He was happy to see you, but Beppo was making him go nuts. Come on, you need to take the shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say the dog barked. <laughs> the dog no. Beppo barked again. <laughs> I'm committed to the bit now. I give you an he barked. The <laughs> left tried running to catch him behind the bench again, but Bebo escaped by jumping into the bench with you. It was so big that he almost fell off. The that you almost fell from the bench. Oh come on! He complained. Bebo. The dog waved his tail at you. You know Trafalgar cares about you. The dog growled. You know he does, and he wants you to be healthy and good. And for you to take. And for that, you need you need that shot. Do you want to see tr you want to see Law like this? You pointed- oh my gosh, you pointed at the poor man. Or do you want to see them happy? The dog jumped from your lap and sat next to Law's legs. You need to show me how to do that, Law said. He checked his clock. Damn it. You're, you're safe for now. He gave Bebo a menacing look. The clinic just closed. He sat with you on the bench, tired. I see you've been doing great. You chuckled. I can't- I can say the same about you. Welcome back to reality. He Ooh, smirked. There goes gravity. <laughs> Oh. Sorry, that was a dumb Brad. joke. <laughs> no, no, no. Explain it to me. I'm just slow. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh! <laughs> that gotcha. it was dumb. Gotcha. I didn't say it was smart. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to get it. 
He, uh, welcome back to reality, he smirked. It sucks, right? He paused to breathe a little more. I'm glad to see you outside. It's good to see you've been adapting. Yeah, I don't, I keep hoping not to almost die again. Your phone received a call again, and you looked at the screen and hanged up, and hanged up, not wanting to talk with him. Are you free tomorrow? Law raised an eyebrow. You still owe me a date. I thought I was going to have to call you myself at this, at this point, he said, standing up. He really had. For a week, he'd been thinking if he did something wrong because you hadn't called, but he also knew that you were getting used to your life again. Seeing you that day assured him that everything was fine. Uh, I know a nice place. Nice. Because I wanted to go... Because where I wanted to go got shut down three months ago, he sighed. I guess that tends to happen, Law chuckled. He liked that you didn't you didn't think your coma situation too seriously. You obviously had your struggles, but you still managed to have fun with it. Law, your dog is running away again, and you put it at Bippo, who is long gone. Oh my god. Oh my god now, why? He complained. I'll text you later, he said, waving before running after the dog. Yeah. I don't believe there. Beppo, you are so dead! <laughs> Meanwhile, Beppo in the background, like, bark, 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 bark. <laughs> Chapter, uh, 14. I can read no Roman numerals, I promise. What? Oh my, I'm sorry. This ad threw me so off guard. I got oh. so scared. <laughs> Is it a fucking webtoon one? No, it's the My Fantasy Choose Your Own Adventure. Oh no! I know which one you're talking about. Is it like a... No one I kept getting a lot. I, it, I think it was like one of the fantasy ones of Choose Your Own Adventure. It was like this girl cleaning and then she falls through the floor and then this woman... I, saw... up... I got the... I, you said cleaning and I was about to agree, but it's not. She's cleaning while on this other guy's shoulders. What? <laughs> I haven't seen that one. <laughs> And it gives you a very close up of her behind. Oh my god, it is the same people that ran that ad. It was like, it was weird, right? Alright, so what happened was. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> we can't give these people free ad time. They ain't oh, yeah. paying you. Oh yeah, that's right. Sponsor yeah, me and I'll talk We're about your stuff. weird ad. <laughs> Alright, chapter 14. Alright, since you read that whole last one, I got you, fam. Oh, was I not supposed to? I, I was waiting for you to kind of popcorn me, but you kept going. I'm like, all right, work, Dude, girl, I work. We, we did, we did, we did chapter by chapter last time. All right, oh yeah, I was just sitting there in the background, like I T T G R L. You know you with that girl. <laughs> I love that song. Man. Yeah. Oh shit! I gotta say the TikTok when I get done. <laughs> when we get done, and we gotta, not, it's, we gotta get, we gotta get to twenty. We gotta we get got to you. twenty. Okay, <laughs> so a day. <laughs> England hit low. <laughs> no, no. With who? It's none of your business. So she walked in front of Law. Is it the blonde nurse in chemo? Law ignored him, taking paperwork and placing it on his portfolio. The receptionist in ER? Is it the girl in 207? How the fuck did we pronounce her name again? Shit. Hitaku? Hitaku? Said while entering Hitaku. his office. Hitaku. <laughs> no, Fuck. you're doing this on purpose. I swear. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just dumb. Ick. Ick. Cock. <laughs> I. You bitch. You can go. Said while entering his office to leave another document, <laughs> earning a disrespectful look from law. <laughs> The old lady that got <laughs> discharged yesterday? Thought she looked confused, but got punched in the back of the head by Penguin. He's talking about the coma girl, stupid. Law tried to walk walk again while he could, but was stopped by... <laughs> Ikaku. Ikaku. Who had that face that Law hated so much of satisfaction. What? Nothing? We're just happy for you, she said, letting him pass by her to leave his office. I couldn't look at her without wanting to kill her for telling Penguin and Sachi that he was leaving early for a date. He was not going to say anything and just leave, but Hikaku asked him about the patient appointment and asked her to move it, accidentally using the word date for an excuse. I just got off work. I'll be there in 30. Law texted you. He was excited to see you, more and more now that he knew you felt the same way about the date. 
I'll be ready. Drive safely. You said you sent the text. Well, in reality, you were not ready at all. <laughs> I mean, how could you be ready to date such a a heartthrob? <laughs> Just saying, it's possible. <laughs> um, what? Uh, are you about? Can, gonna... can I make a joke? Can I make a joke? Yeah, go. What's the joke? Um, he's gonna make a lot more than your heartthrob. Oh. We don't know yet. Okay. We haven't discovered uh, chapter I twenty. Terrible. What if? No. What if we hit chapter twenty and he's like, he sucks. <laughs> he's like he's terrible in bed. That would be pretty funny. You haven't dated anyone in, in a long time, and every time you ask someone out, they usually said no. But you knew it was kind of your fault. You asked everyone who got interested in to go out, sometimes with them, not actually knowing you. So, it made it awkward. Paul was one of the few who actually said yes, and it surprised you because you could tell that he wasn't the type to just accept. That made it harder, because you wanted to look nice for him. The dresses- Ooh. Yeah, we are- Whoa, 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 our what? outfit. Yeah, we- Hold on, what, what is our outfit's choices? I don't know, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. The dress is Keep laid going. out on your bed, judging you while you still wore the towel that you used after your bath. You decided to take the one you wore for your book conference a year ago. It was elegant and stylish. Just what you needed for a date. As you put it on, you received another call from your boss. You did the same thing you did to the other 692 calls and dismissed them. You were still angry at him. Damn, what the fuck? What do you think? You asked the little bird who chirped in agreement. Yeah, I think this one's the one too. Moss found himself driving to a place not far away from his apartment. He was really surprised of how close it was. He could almost walk to your place if he wanted to. When he parked in front of the address you gave him, you were already there waiting for him. He skipped a beat when he saw you. You had barely seen you in normal clothes and now he had the opportunity to see you so fancy. You walked past with your low heels to the car, waving nervously. I was about to get out of the car to open the door for you, but you stopped him by opening it before he could get out. Hello, he said, nicely. <laughs> I hope it wasn't difficult to get here. Not at all. I live not too far from here. He looked at you again. You look nice. Oh, well, thank you. You don't look too bad yourself, you said, winking at him, making him smirk. <laughs> The smirk. <laughs> how oh was your God. How was your day? The smirk faded away. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Good, I guess. He had been doing only small things, but he had been doing a lot. He hadn't found any interest anything interesting or challenging cases for a while, and it bothered him. Liar, he said, reading him again. He chuckled. He chuckled? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, everything this man does, Penny is swooning. The restaurant was amazing. As soon as you walked inside, you get the smell of the amazing food all around. Watch this be like the fucking uh, the bar tea. <laughs> oh my gosh! What it? Oh my wait! What? Do you think we'll see Sanji? Oh! <gasps> oh my god! Yes! I get to look at two sexy men on a date. Hell yeah! <laughs> Where the fuck did I leave off? I got distracted thinking about that. Fuck. Oh my bad. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. It's my own brain's fault. Uh, the restaurant was amazing. Oh, yeah. It's easy to oh, yeah. Law walked you to the, a table near the window and opened the chair for you. He was trying his best to impress you with his manners, and you noticed that. Appreciating it. What's the best thing to eat here? You yeah, asked, not understanding the names of the food. Oh my god, this gonna uh, he, the waiter's gonna come by. I'm like, uh, I'll just, I'll just take this one and just like point. <laughs> Was I usually ordered the last meal on the menu, he said. He looked at it, but just as the other ones, you couldn't make up what it meant. What is it? Chicken with a wine sauce and... Polenta? polenta. Okay, good. Yeah. I was about to say a different word that sounded like that. <laughs> I'm glad you told me what it was. You shook your head. Polenta? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> How do you pronounce this? You pronounce. He looked around. I don't know. He said softly, only to hear, you, only for you to hear. I hear people say it differently all the time. To this day, I don't know which one is the right way. He sounded cute when he said that. 
You imagine him being more of a know-it-all guy, and he was. But it was nice to see that he let pass some things out. Roll! <laughs> the waitress brought you the, the same meal. You enjoyed it along with some wine with law. He was weird. It was weirdly to op. Wait. He was weirdly open to talk about anything, and the conversation went smoothly. You haven't talked to anyone like this for a long time, and he hadn't been so comfortable speaking to another human ever. Seventeen? You nodded. Which one is your favorite? The yellow kite, you admitted. It's, n it's not out yet, but I'll be. But. Wait. Yeah, but, no, you have it. But I'll be. It's my. F it's my best project, so. A biggest project so far. But how about you? Which has been your favorite case? Wait, is that just- wait, have we written 17 what? books? Uh... I'm guessing that's what it meant. I think... Sev- oh wait. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Damn, we a talented bitch. Dang, look at us. Hope we're making bank. Yeah. That's easy. I reattached the man's head. He almost choked on what he said. It was my hardest surgery, and- But, we made it possible and the man lives in normal- normally to this day. If you were such an amazing surgeon and doctor, why were you taking care of me? Curiosity got the best of you. You had heard people in the hospital saying how good he was, but your case was little to no exceptional. Why was he there? It's a long story. He tried to change the subject. We have all night. You took the bottle of wine and filled both glasses. Well, I couldn't possibly tell you the truth. You think he was a stalker or a creep? He was trying to figure out the best way to change the, sub the conversation when a man on the table next to you collapsed to the ground, holding his throat. Alright, we're getting plot. <laughs> or just a man choking to death. Somebody help! <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry, what did you- I'm sorry, I said, you said a man choking to death and I cheer. <laughs> I didn't process that statement. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. My bad. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> Somebody help! The woman, the woman he was with yelled, "He's choking!" <laughs> Love was about to jump in the action when he, when when his view of the man got covered by you, you had jumped into action before him. Sir, are you choking? The man nodded, panicked. You went onto his back and pulled him to his feet for him to stand. He was heavy, but you made it work. You gave him five back blows, and as soon, and as soon as you changed to the first abdomen thrust, he patted. He spatted the blocky object. You let go of the man who was panting, but now breathing. Are you okay? Yes. Oh, God, thank you so much, he said, returning to his table with, a wor with his worried companion. Where did you learn to do that? Ma asked, standing next to you. You were panting, too, but because of the weight of the man. I'm certified, you went and gave him a thumbs up. My boss makes me take a class every year. I take the class in the hospital you work at. Well, I couldn't believe what had just happened. He had just saw you save a man's life. <laughs> That's so sexy. Came out of his mouth. Your eyes widened when you heard when you heard that. He looked away when he realized what he had just said, but your hand reached to his chin to see him. He was blushing a little. <laughs> oh my god. I know. Your lips reached his. As soon as he touched yours, he knew he didn't want to let you go. We made out after she oh saved God. a man's life. <clears throat> that, that, that's such a weird thing. Could you imagine? No, imagine. We're hanging out. We're eating at a, a nice well, restaurant. We're, hanging we're having. We're, we're hanging out. Okay, okay. No, like, we're. No, no. Just, just hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me okay, out. Okay. We're just hanging out. We're chilling at this restaurant. We're talking about One Piece. And we see this man and this late and his, his lady friend. And they just saved some guy's life. Like, he was choking. Everyone's clapping for some reason. Because, I don't know, he, he lives. And everyone's and searching. You just, and you just, and you, we're just eavesdropping on their conversation. And he goes, wow, you saved someone's life? That's so hot. And then, that's, no, wait, what does he say? That's, that's so, so sexy. sexy. <laughs> and then, and then, and then we just have, we just watch him make out in the middle of the restaurant. <laughs> That's so weird. No, my ass. I would just be like, all right, so anyway, uh, so Zoro, right? <laughs> exactly. That's what we do. But this is just a... 
We should do that. Laura, Sanji. Just oh, sorry. Have a conversation at a restaurant. No, I'm mean, like, let's go to a restaurant. Like, we go to fucking like a buffet and just eat and talk about One Piece and just hope that we see a man choke no, to death. We should go. We, we should. Did you say a bat? A, a buffet or yeah, a cafe? buffet. Buffet. You know, load plate. Oh yeah, yeah. I know what that is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay, continue. Chapter, oh, chapter no. 15, it's your turn. No, wait, wait, my phone turned off. Oh, I'm weak. I can't no. wait. Unprofessional. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. These, <laughs> I'm not, I refuse to pay for Wattpad. No, me too. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm enough. And I'm you woke, good at You woke up on your couch, but you woke up in your couch by the sound of little bird chirping. It took you a moment to make your brain work again, but when it did, you realized you still wore the same thing you did last night. You stretched your body before getting food for the bird. Seeing the bird made you smile and it reminded you of Law. You hummed a song while walking to your bathroom to take a shower, the hot water reminding you of Law again and the night you had with him. Why does the fucking hot water remind you of Law? What the fuck is wrong like, with what, what were y'all- what were they doing? I know we haven't gone to chapter 20 yet, so... <laughs> the hot water caressing her skin? <gasps> oh! Ah! Oh, Off after the first... Wait. I don't know anything about After dating, the so. first date, the first fuck? date? That's a man. I'm sorry. No. I, I forgot. I didn't know where I was. Oh. Remember... <laughs> The memory of you saying goodbye to him made you a little sad. You wanted him to come into your place. <laughs> Just to send more- I'm sorry. <laughs> Just to spend more time with him. You weren't fond of many people. Bala was so easy to talk to and nice to be with. So much so that you already wanted to see him again. Damn, this you bitch trying to hair. skip to chapter 20 already. I know. You brushed your hair, still humming the same song you saw in as you saw the news, it was something that found something that found useful to update you in a lot of stuff you'd missed. It was exciting to see how much of the world had changed in only eight months. You loved learning about it. Your phone started ringing again, but you dismissed it seeing it was your boss once again. Leave me alone, you said, hanging up. It's not fair, you know. You said, talking to the bird and the little boss. I've been working my ass off for years, and he won't let me finish the novels. Tweet tweet! I know! <laughs> no, let me be the bird. You are okay. the dog. Okay, let fine. Me have this. Fine, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Did that even pick up? Did, is, it, is it not picking up? No, but I didn't hear shit from your end. <laughs> let me just- I'm sorry. Let me just be like, tweet tweet! <laughs> I'm I know you said agreeing with the word bird. I'm almost done and I'm going to- I'm gonna go there with my work and slam it in his face! <laughs> Can you hear that one? I'm a fucking like- <laughs> Perfect. It's a, it's a bird, I don't know what kind of bird. Tweet tweet. <laughs> okay, you know what, you're the bird. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you are right, he won't do anything with it. You sat down contemplating your options. What am I supposed to do now? Tweet tweet! <laughs> I don't know. I really don't want to do it, he said annoyed. Now, you didn't like the bird <laughs> you didn't like what the bird was saying. He was going to keep scolding me for something that wasn't my fault. Tweet. Fine. If it, end if it ends worse, it's on you, he said, reaching for your phone and calling ba back your boss. I don't even know why I'm taking advice from you. It took no time for your boss to answer. I'm so sorry, dear. I didn't want to make you mad. He cried on the other end, surprising you. I just want what best, what's best for you. Please don't hate me. Boss, it, it's all right. You didn't expect this to happen. Now you're panicking as well. Oh, Amy didn't want me to keep calling you, but I can't live like this. He said, still crying. I feel like a bad human person. I don't deserve to live. <laughs> No, boss. Please, it's really okay. He looked at the bird waiting for it to say something that would help, but the <laughs> bird said nothing. I shouldn't have done that either. I'm sorry. Harold, get off the phone right now! 
You heard, you heard Noemi yelling after him on the other side. No! <laughs> He's giving me her forgiveness! You couldn't see him, but you were sure he was being chased by Noemi to get his phone. Sweetie, suddenly her voice was now on the phone. I'm sorry for... that. Would you maybe join us for dinner tonight? I, I would really love to. You said... You said now more calm. Hoping to... Hoping to get to have... Hoping to get... Ha hoping to get to have some time with them. I'm sorry. This is difficult for me. Maybe getting your boss to let you publish your book earlier. Give it back, your boss said. <laughs> I'll see you later. Take care, she said, hanging up. Your lips curved into a smile. You missed that. That part of them that never changed, and you really hoped it to never change. You were so wise, he said to the bird who jumped a little, but looked at the counter making you turn as well. The yellow paper was there, all taped together again. You're too, cur you're, you're too curious. You see, you said to the bird, taking the paper out of its sight. Tweet. Oh, come on, you said, crossing your arms. You can't see this. It's personal. Tweet. I said no, but I should bring it tonight, you thought. We haven't talked about this. The drama. The CPS. You're on your way to your boss. <laughs> CPS. Isn't that what it was? I don't remember. Yeah, I can't Hopefully remember. This for a while. <laughs> your way to your boss's house was as annoying as it always been. Passing through the same neighborhood you had never liked, with all the fancy people living in them that never liked you either. As soon as you got there, a man opened the fence for you to get inside. Inside the big house. It was the first time you were there since the incident, and you were kind of glad that nothing had changed. Even the inside of the house, everything was still the same. Penny! Noemi, Noemi walked you, as elegant as always, followed by your clearly scolded boss. We were glad to have you here. How have you been? She, she said, hugging you. I haven't seen you since I, since I dropped you off at your place. I've been good. How about you, Noemi? Her gentle smile turned into a frown as she hit the back of your head. We're home. Stop calling me that. She complained. I'm sorry. You apologize now turning to your boss. Turning to see your boss. Hey, I'm sorry for what happened the other day. Sorry for what I said. He turned to see Noemi waiting for approval and she nodded, making you jump, making him jump to embrace you. Can I still be your father? He asked, breaking your heart as some tears escaped from his eyes. Of course you can. You hugged him. You humped him back while Noemi saw you with that warm smile she only carried around for you too. Is this for real? She said, reading the yellow paper. Why would someone decide to do this? I don't know. That's why I'm so frustrated. You admitted, sipping your glass of water. I don't even know how... I didn't even know it was possible to do it. Me neither. She gave the paper back. I, I can ask some friends for to get information on her. If that's what you want. You looked at her. Noemi seemed kind of hurt. I don't, I don't want to know anything about her, you said, and saw relief in her eyes. Your boss tried to speak, but had his mouth full of food, and he could only make hand signals. What? Who does she think she is, he said, angry Angry now that he swallowed it all. She doesn't, she doesn't deserve your attention, he crossed his arms. Harold, don't say that. No, Amy said. We knew one day something like this might happen. Only, not like this. But, but I think it's so disrespectful, he said, getting more food in his mouth. It's all right. I'd given up, a, given up on it a long time ago, you said, earning a sad look from both of them. Noe placed her hand on yours to reassure you, but you smiled. There was nothing else you could do now. Your phone started ringing. Now. Uh, now, confusing everyone. You weren't the type of people to get calls at times like that. You checked to see if it was law and panicked before standing up and answering. Hello? Wait, hello? <laughs> Hello, I'm calling. Am I calling at a bad time? He asked after hearing you whispering. I can call later. I I think that'll be better. He said, looking back at Noemi, who was confused yet intrigued. Um, I can call you when I'm free. Don't forget, or don't forget, or I'll have to call you. He said, clearly smirking on the other end, earning a chuckle from your behalf. Bye, bye. You hanged up. You hung up, returning to the table to see your boss with a serious face, and Noemi with a curious, mischievous one. So, who's this guy? 
I don't know what you're talking about. She said, <laughs> he said, avoiding eye contact. Then why are you blushing? Ooh. Ooh. I mean, be fair, we did make out with him in the restaurant after he did save a man's life, so... What if they... What if they saw us making out with them? What if they were there? Ooh. Maybe they were the couple that... <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, all right. Let's see. We were then. Could be. All right. Chapter sixteen. Yeah, I could read Roman numerals. I promise. We could read in this house. Yeah, let's go reading. <laughs> it was that day again. It didn't matter that the day was sunny or that everything in the world seemed to be doing great, according to the news. It mattered little, little to nothing to him that he had been selected to get an award, or that he got to spend the day free. For him, that day was off. No matter what he did, his mind had sunk had sunk in there already as soon as he woke up. Not even Beppo could cheer him up, and Beppo knew it. Besides, to leave him law alone, things that was thing that was really unusual. He sat on his couch, with his head wandering into a thousand directions, trying to avoid thinking about it. But he managed to send it straight into the same thought again and again. He had marked that day to be the only day to be allowed to think about it since it was the day he died. Yet, it was the day he tried to avoid the topic of all costs, because whatever he did kept popping out and haunting him again. Scroll. <laughs> His mind was wandering so much about it that he decided the best thing to do was to work, and he did, starting to work on cases for the next week in cases he was treating already. It helped him. It always did. The more he concentrated on it, the less it hurt. He even got to see your file on the pile. Although, he had tried to give you back to Korea for the next checkups as you two had a date. It was the last file he had on you. It said that you had recovered easily and that everything had been smoothly as so far. Nothing too impressive or extraordinary of a case, but it had an experience for him, one that he was now learning. He didn't want to forget. He took the file and placed it on, on a drawer on his desk, where important files were, as a memory. He found himself finding your book there. It made him curious again, so he looked online to find your collection of books. Six books in total, one thing led to another, and he ended up at your biograph page. Although, there wasn't much. Your photo was there. And some information about your birthday and works, and not, but nothing much more. You left it like that on purpose, since your first book decided that the less they knew about you, the better. Not because you, d you liked your privacy. Well, you did. But you preferred to keep your life away from your work. You didn't like people who looked after people's work because of the, pe the person. You wanted your books to be popular because they were actually good. Well, I got distracted for a couple of hours. Noah's stomach reminded him he needed to eat. He got up and walked to the kitchen to find his phone on the counter and sent a mess and a message on the screen. I'm sorry about last night. I'm free all day if you want to talk. It made him chuckle. He wanted to see if you wanted to go out again, especially after not talking yesterday. It was a relief to see that you still cared about him. Of course we fucking care about him. Look at him! <laughs> oh my god, what's he got? Abandonment issues? I don't know, maybe. Does he have abandonment issues? Like in the show? Yeah, like in the show. Maybe it'd be classified as abandonment. <laughs> He's got a lot um, of issues, man. I can't wait for you to see it. <laughs> oh my god. I can't... Isn't he in jeans? When we first yeah. meet him? In jeans and like... A nice like a shirt. <laughs> a nice shirt. And, the, and that fucking hat. <laughs> that hat. Oh my god, it gets better after the time skip, they fix the hat, but the, the hat at the beginning is kind of dumb looking. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> just, You're just bullying him, I I'm thought not, you loved him. I'm not bullying him, right? You could, you could have a favorite person and still make fun of something about him. <laughs> you think I'm gonna sit here and defend, like, Fishman Island Sanji? Really? You think I'm gonna do that? <laughs> I cannot Maybe. wait for you to get to that part so you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Well, I'm gonna forget about this conversation, but okay. proceed. <laughs> it's alright. Maybe we can talk tomorrow, he sent the message. There was no way you were going to see him having a mental breakdown. Beppo was enough, but he still wanted to see you, and it was weird for him. 
He was used to not wanting to be see anyone, and yet he had spent some time stalking you online and was thinking about asking you out again. Looking forward to it. You still owe me coffee! Weaky face was the message he received. Guess we'll have to meet for that appointment you owe me. He sent with a smirk, fa smirk on his face. For medical purpose, ob purposes, obviously. You looked at your phone smiling before leaving it on the table next to you and, s and stretching. You have been writing the whole day trying to finish that book that you've been bugging you so much. You have had some notes you did while you were in the hospital to fill some blanks in the book. You had maybe two more days of working on it before it was done. Then revision by you. Then revision by the company and see if anything went smoothly with your boss and publish it after your mandatory vacation. Tweet! Said the little bird, making you stand and walk towards it. Is it time already? You took the clock on your wall and smiled, taking the bird out of the box with you. It was time to take it to the vet to see if it was able to fly now. The bird has been hanging out for a long enough and has shown no improvement or motivation to move its wings. So you do what the internet told you to do and made an appointment. It was awkward seeing all the pet owners with some real problems while you sat there with a the little bird in the box who refused to fly. The dog next to you looked at you with the biggest, cutest eyes, asking to be petted. You looked away but felt the enchanting stare pierce through your soul. You looked at the dog again, who was still looking at you, waiting with his paper dog eyes, demanding care and love. His owner was talking with the receptionist and had left it alone for a couple minutes, so you thought the dog was feeling lonely. Oh, you're such a cute boy. Your hand approached the dog, whose tail started to move happily, but before you could pet it, the vet got in front of you. Penny Thompson? You nodded and stood foot following behind the, to the examination room while leaving the dog alone who waited, laid on the floor sad. What seems to be the problem? This little guy crashed the window two weeks ago, but it doesn't seem to improve. He gave the box to the vet who took it and slowly and carefully took the bird out to examine it. The bird didn't even care about the vet touching its wing to check it out. Weird. It doesn't seem to be broken. The vet took a light in a, and a pen to examine the wings closely. Has he tried to fly? Not at all, you said, while getting closer to see what he was doing. Some birds just take some time to fly again. Maybe it still hasn't recovered yet. He placed the bird back into the box. I couldn't find anything, but maybe it still hurts for the bird. If it hasn't tried or done anything in a week, maybe it just doesn't want to let go. Oh no. You looked at the bird. You had, you had to pay rent? You muttered, earning a tweet for the bird. Oh, you piece of... You muttered, trying to avoid the vet to hear you. We'll be on our way then. Thank you. No problem, he said, leaving, leaving the room behind you. Don't look at me like that, you said to the bird, but noticed the dog was still there all alone. Looking at you and waiting, you looked around and could find his owner, so you leaned to pet it, but his pretty cute face immediately turned into an angry one as the dog bit your hand. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are we back in the hospital? Are we back in the hospital? Oh, shit, we're gonna get him a fucking, like, tetanus shot. <laughs> tetanus? I don't know, what are you- Tetanus? Rabies? Rabies. <laughs> Rabies. Man, that, that tetanus fucking- Tetanus is for metal. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dude, th that dog fucking juked us. Gave us the fucking puppy dog guys. Bitter fucking hand. I mean, maybe it's because we abandoned it. We we were gonna pet it, and then we didn't. Yeah, but that's so, not our fault. So, I think fault. we deserved it. It was our fault. Oh, we could have defi- we could have pushed the vet down, beat him up, and then pet the dog. I don't think we should have done that. Oh, God. You know what? I think we should. <laughs> oh, God. That did happen to me. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Chapter 17! His phone was buzzing. Wait, is it my- yeah. yeah this yeah, phone yeah. was buzzing. Something really annoying, considering <laughs> everyone knew not to call him when he missed a day. He ignored it the first four times, but after seeing it wasn't stopping, he answered coldly, clearly about to kill someone. What the hell do you want? He said. He recognized the number. Why are you answering? Complained Penguin. It's an emergency. He said, almost whispering. Your date just got admitted in ER. Law stood up from his chair immediately and was quick to grab his coat and left his apartment. Not even in a minute was he- What? Not even in a minute he was about to exit his building. What happened? He asked as he got into the car. I don't know much, but Sachi said something like she's missing a hand or something. What the fuck? That <laughs> dog took a chomp. 
Oh, is that the part of 87? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> but it's a pretty movie coming out soon! Oh my gosh, it's just less than 10 days. I know, I'm so excited. Like a week. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> She's losing a hand or something. Law's face became pale as his driving became faster and faster, getting nervous at the thought <laughs> that what was going on, if, what would happen if some of the stupid people in the AR ER got to take care of you. He's not the one involved, but he'll try to get more details about it. No need, I'm here, he said, hanging up, leaving his car as fast as he could. He must ran to ER, where the nurse in charge immediately recognized him and rolled her eyes, as she didn't like his presence since the whole month he was in the uh, ER, he was irritating. Uh, Penny Thompson, he said, earning a sight from the nurse, who just pointed to a section, hoping to get him away, get him as far away as possible. He opened the curtain where he found you. Law? You asked as you didn't expect to see him. What are you doing here? He looked at you. Just, just to realize your hand was completely fine, and, it was, and then he could actually breathe. I'm sorry, someone told me you were injured and sent here. He smiled at the thought of, of him coming to see you. It's just a bite. You said, showing your hand better. The dog and the vet had bit you, and thanks to the vet's dog, thanks to the vets, the dog let go of your hand, but you were sent to the ER just in case. I won't die, he said, looking at it. I hope so. <laughs> Let me see. He took a chair and sat next to you, as no one seemed to be around to attend to you anyway. You gave him your hand to examine. They cleaned it, but not good enough. He said, what kind of hospital is this? Or do you know what? I'm gonna clean this, but not good enough. You know what? The only we have one good person in this building, and he's a surgeon. I am. He's a, a surgeon, surgeon who's tired, angry, and, and depressed. Only the best for the hospital. <laughs> Gosh, I I would not want to be admitted to this hospital. Hey, if that was your surgeon, dude, I would in a heartbeat. <laughs> Yeah, but I hope I don't need surgery for nothing. Damn it. <laughs> if you go to the hospital, I'm gonna have to leave you there. Cause I can't I can't I can't be there for you. Oh because <laughs> No, no, hear me out. I'm gonna inter I'm gonna be third wheeling on your hot day with the surgeon. Oh shit, yeah, you're right, sorry. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor. <laughs> but if there wasn't, I'd be there for you. Gotcha, okay. Thank Just you. to clarify. I'm glad that what's stopping you from being there in my time of need in the hospital is that. Uh, your surgeon. Yeah. <laughs> Not good enough. He, he said taking some cotton in a blue bottle from the cabinet, which he used to clean your hand. You felt so weird, yet you couldn't look away. It was really cute, and there was no way in denying that you liked him. He had been, he had been intriguing for you since the first time you'd met him. And he kept surprising you. It was like a book that you couldn't stop reading. Dr. Falger, what are you doing here? Said a male nurse entering the area. Where, where you, where you were, he was confused and conflicted to see a man such as Law helping in the ER when he knew his punishment was over. Helping a woman who wasn't at being attended, he replied not looking at him. Her hand could have been infected or something bad could have happened if I didn't clean it properly, a thing that you clearly didn't do. I- I thought- Law gave him a death glare as the male nurse could only swallow his words. It's alright though. It's getting better. Your comment- It's alright though. It's getting better. Your comment distracted Law, who was confused at your kind behavior. The nurse took the chance to walk away while you gave Law a sweet smile, not wanting him to scold the nurse, and he was weak to it. Weak! Weak! Not me. I would beat up that nurse. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Being up vets, being up nurses, <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? Um, are you just gonna speed up everyone now? Yep. <laughs> okay. He had drove all the way there, on that day, when he was not supposed to go out, just to see that you were okay. He felt like he was on drugs being around you, and he was not going to let go of that feeling. He didn't think it was even possible. He found himself falling for someone that, for the first time. Are you okay? You asked him. He seemed a little distracted and a little bit off. You could notice he wasn't feeling at his best. Yes, why? He looked at her confused. I don't want to be intrusive, but you seem kind of sad. 
You got closer to him until your faces were really close together. Are you sure you're okay? Yo, bro, you kind of look depressed right now. What wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he said coldly. You saw right through him, and he was scared. He didn't feel like this. Whatever you had felt or seen was right. He knew it was a bad idea to be out that day. I need to leave. I need. To, I have some stuff to do. Oh, okay. You felt bad. You knew you had grown up, and he was avoiding eye contact now, and he looked tense. Blah, you stood up and approached him before he could leave. Have a nice day. He couldn't so much. He couldn't do much when you leaned and kissed his cheek, leaving him, leaving him as he was really needing some space. <laughs> He was left confused as to why he was scared of you now, but it was easy to see that he felt vulnerable and it wasn't your fault, but his, who had always avoided talking about how he- Gosh, this is- I need commas! I need more commas, I'm sorry. And it was your fault, but- It was not your fault, but it was his. As he had always avoided- You know, I'm gonna change this. Yeah, as he had always avoided talking about how he felt, and yet- even though you'd caused him to tense up, you reassured him with a kiss. His heart conflicted at the action, wondering what you were doing to him. You looked at your hand and the small bandage that Loth placed on you, and wondered if it was enough for you to have a seat on the disabled area of the bus, but you were fast to dismiss the idea, almost slapping yourself just by thinking about it. So you continued to stand until you stand up until your stop. You considered calling Law or messaging him after what you did as you had intruded in his space and he was clearly not comfortable with it, but your phone was dead and you thought it wasn't a good idea. You were feeling guilty and scared as you had ruined friendships for being like that and you had really hoped that was not the case with Law, but his decision, but it was his decision to make. It took you five minutes to get to the complex after you left the bus. You were hoping to get your... Get your bird the next day as the vet vent insisted on keeping it after you were checked out of the hospital. So in the afternoon, so that afternoon, you spent it writing alone. But he was there, blocking your way in, and it made you smile like, as your heart forgot all the doubt you had. You left without letting me invite you your coffee, he said, with a smirk on his face. He had been waiting for you to get home. He didn't know why he had run from you in the first place, or why he decided to look for you. He never thought to be the kind of person to do things, but you were just something else. I owe you. Oh, shut up. He said, grabbed his shirt to kiss him. He was hoping to get this, e get this in way, get this in a way. He couldn't go back now and neither did you. What's y'all? <laughs> so they kissed at the door. 18. I think that. Since I she was a Sorry, what? <laughs> No, my bad. Okay. <laughs> I'm sick of ads, that's yep. all. <laughs> Alright. 18, I don't think we'll make it. No, we got this. We can speed run. <laughs> no, no, we can't speed run. So, is this it? You know how hard it is to read this? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was reading. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Did you really just say, you know how hard it is to read this? <laughs> Yeah. All right, fine. This will be the last I'm, chapter we read then. I, it's some of these words they're using. I just the the format, the wording is difficult for me. All right, all right, all right. We'll make it. We'll make it though. Yeah, this will be the last one. This. <laughs> so this is it. He asked, making you chuckle as he walked around the apartment, curious. You hum, getting some coffee from one of the top shelves. Sorry to disappoint you, he said, raising an eyebrow. I don't really use this space much. I spent most of my time in the study room, he said, as he was the type of person to spend a lot of time in it during his research, and he guessed that you'd probably do the same. He smirked, knowing that he had guessed making you pout at law. Sugar? Milk? Cr cream? You asked, serving a coffee with two cups. Oh, serving the coffee in two cups. Fuck, okay. I... <laughs> he no, shook his head. <laughs> Turning to keep looking around. You finished preparing yours and placed them both on the coffee table. You know, if you had a if you want a tour, you can ask for it. No need, he stated, returning his attention to you as you waited for him on the couch. You didn't know if inviting him in was a good idea. Yet you did it. Again. 
your impulses just found you to do it. He accepted thoughts. He accepted the thought, so you invited him for some coffee as well. He didn't expect the doctor to be so in interested about your place, as you didn't have much around. The stuff you had usually came from everyone else, or you really needed it. Please don't go in my room, he said as the man slowly approached the door. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why? He said a little cocky. Is that where the fun happens? Oh, you don't know. We're not on chapter 20 yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, time to just skip. <laughs> just skips right to chapter 20. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> no, we gotta read. In order. <sighs> there could be a relevant plot in the 19th chapter. We don't, we don't, we're not gonna read the 19th chapter. Oh. It's really fine. <laughs> Yeah, like we like we get to the sex and then like the the twenty first chapter, it was, it. and then it's like bringing a plot that happened in the nineteen chapter of like, damn, I can't believe CPS is coming and your your biological mom's gonna take you away. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, and, spot, and, I'm gonna <laughs> cry. And then we're like, huh? <laughs> oh, would. Who would have thought that you'd be the pervy type? You said teasing him, making a smirk again. As only now he started to walk to the, to the couch, sitting next to you and taking his coffee. Everyone, he admitted. At least that's what Penguin said. He joked. Well, not really. He intended that he, he indeed had heard it from Penguin before, as some nurses had thought he was creepy and probably perverted. Now, are you the perverty type? Meh, you said, <laughs> being completely honest. You never really thought of yourself to be a type, but you didn't really know. What an answer, he said, also leaving his coffee on the table. Can I ask you something? Of course, you said, getting more comfortable on the couch to pay attention to him. He felt warm, and when he saw your eyes full of curiosity, and ready to answer. Why there were no, why were there no visitors? Had that had been one of the things that had bothered him since he started spending time with you while you were in the coma. Not a single sh soul showed up there until she recovered. And in and it was only once, as far as Penguin recalls, no one visited you for the eight months you were there. It's okay if you don't want to answer. I, I guess they were busy, you said. Most of my good friends don't live near. My family has strict rules. He was confused, and seeing that you were a little uncomfortable with the topic was enough to make him not continue. My turn. It's not a game, he said, not really wanting to see what questions you could come up with as you were unpredictable. But you asked, he said, protested, half protested, half requested. I just want to know, why did you accept? Oh, he was relieved that you didn't went too deep into the conversation, because I was curious about your place. I expected something really different for a writer. No, no, you corrected yourself. Why did you accept to give me a chance? You were fast to pull out the card with his number on it. The one that he had given you some time ago. I don't know, he admitted. Something was really weird for him to do. It felt wrong not to do it. Your face filled with a smile, making him feel uncomfortable that he had never opened like this. Ever. Yet, it was somehow made sense to do it with you. Plus, I wanted to see if you could tell me how it ends. What do you mean? Your books? He said he had indeed read them in his free time, and he would be lying if he said he didn't like them. He had even crafted some theories about the ending and what the next book was going to reveal. I think I know who did it. You. He started laughing. As you really did expect this, he raised an eyebrow. You seriously think I'll tell you? You don't need to tell me, he said standing up. I know it's somewhere here. He stopped cold as he slowly walked backwards to the only room he hasn't checked. He knew the bath- th He knew the bathroom and you told him the door that led to your room. So the only one left that was- was about to get into it. You wouldn't dare, he said- you said standing up ready to tackle him if necessary. He reached the door and placed his hand on the doorknob. Don't do it, Law. Make me, he said, opening the door, 
entering fast as you ran ready to kill him if he dared to touch your computer. He didn't even have a chance to get near your desk when you tackled him to the ground, putting him down. I didn't- <laughs> <laughs> I like you couldn't even make it. <laughs> Were you like sitting there like, she's gonna do it, she's gonna do it. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, they I didn't know you were the kinky type, Penia. Oh, shut up, Bola. <laughs> you said, letting go of him and push, and trying to push him outside with all your strength until his body was outside. You were fast to lock the door and scold him for trying to do something so stupid. I swear I was only joking, he said, taking his coat as it was getting late and he had had work the next day. He walked to the door, unsure about how to say goodbye as you followed him. I'll give you a copy as soon as it's done, you said, pulling him in for a kiss in the frame of your door before he could say anything else. He was quick to respond, making the kiss a little more passionate and rough as he felt like he needed it. His hands slowly hold the ba the lower back. Wait, shit. Your lower back, not a lower <laughs> And your hands found their way behind his neck. You slowly let go. If you do that again, I'll have to kill you, you whispered. Uh, gaining one of his so charming smirks as he slowly walked away. I'm looking forward to it, he said, leaving you on the frame of your door, waiting until he was out of your sight. Let's finish it then, you said to yourself, closing the door to continue your work. I cannot wait for us to get to chapter 20! <laughs> well, look, I'm, you know, at this point, I'm gonna read chapter 20 right now. <gasps> you wanna just make this an extra long episode? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't think read I can do it. Read ahead? I'm just gonna read ahead. Oh my god, dude. SMH. Oh my god, there's a gift? Wait, what? No, it's just her okay. <laughs> I'm like, whoa! Is that always something? <laughs> Does, what, what are the Wattpad terms and conditions? <laughs> List it mature and it's fine. That's how it works here, in in this, uh, graveyard. <laughs> oh god. So what'd you think? You I, love and life? I'm making it. I mean, I'm alive, I guess. <laughs> no, that's a response. <laughs> <laughs> that's a response. <laughs> oh god, well... Next, next time we read this book... Smut. <laughs> Oh god, I'm so Lemon. scared. Fluff. <laughs> lemon. Works. Fluff. Whoa, what? I don't know, it's listed as a lemon. No, 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 you were just reading the things and I was like, huh? All in one chapter? I don't know, it could be. We don't know. There's angst. Yeah, also Maybe. angst thrown in there too. I want, I want, word? I want a, a, a lime. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I don't use the lemon system. Oh, okay, cool. It's been a while. Yeah, me either. I don't use that either. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I want us to read a horrific angst. Like, I want us to be sobbing. Well, guess what? We might have that chance right now. Oh, gosh. As we introduce the wheel segment. <laughs> Where we spin the wheel and we find out how screwed we are the next time we have to plan a recording. Yippee! Oh, my God. Alright, so here's our beautiful wheel that we've made. We have a few options for shit. Let me close it. Alright. So, so whatever it lands really on scared. is what we're gonna read. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Can we get a redo? If it's like something that we don't like... I don't know. I didn't really ask for redos. Well, I'm the first. How about we just cut the segment out if we don't? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, That's okay, let's spin. It's very hard to see. Oh shit! We're gonna read the chapter! <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm so I'm terrified. What do you mean you're scared, dude? Well, okay. Crazy. The writing in this is like I've never read anything like before. Okay. But it's a good so, book. I'm dude, don't be nervous, man. It's gonna be great, dude. 
You're gonna love it, dude. I will- I will read that entire chapter if needed, alright? <laughs> okay. I- I would Are say- Are you gonna on the floor? Yeah. I'm just like giggling like a schoolgirl. I'm like- <laughs> I, I would say it would be my first time reading, like, smut for the channel, but that would be a fucking lie. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, harlot. <laughs> did you call me a harlot? <laughs> I did call you a harlot. <gasps> dude. Trust me, the book I read had a bunch of one shots of lemons, and one of them was Shanks, dude. Like Shanks X Reader or like Shanks, Shanks X Reader? <laughs> they were they were all X readers. But Shanks oh. had like two books that we got to read, like two like segments. Uh-huh. Pretty good! I was eating good! Mm -hmm. And then we mm -hmm. had one of Buggy, which I didn't read before, and I was like, oh, I see why. Are you are you a Buggy sip? A controversial opinion? I am not. Oh. Yeah, live action Buggy didn't do it for me, man. I know it's controversial, but that that's how I feel, man. Gotcha, gotcha. But anyway, if you guys would like to check out the uh, the Wake Up book, I will have it down below in the description. Please support the author. They're so good. I cannot wait for chapter 20. Oh! <laughs> I'm glad we get to still read this before we get, like, weird shit like Soundwave X Reader. <laughs> Look. Look. We might save that for something else. I don't A know. potential new Something else, something potentially new. Yeah. Maybe old, but new. <laughs> we we spin it next time and it lands on mega OP. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Oh. <laughs> or lands on your choice and we get into a session, you're like, we're gonna read Transformers. <laughs> oh my god. My choice? We're gonna read this thing off AO3. Uh, damn, dude. Wattpad book club intro, and then you're just like, what's up, guys? Are we writing AO3 content right now? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you for joining me on this. I'm glad we got a little bit less distracted than we did in this one. At least I feel like we did. I, I tried my best. I'm trying my best. Fair I really the, did. Compared to the other books that we've read, uh, like other like segments, uh, this was probably the least distracting <laughs> one that we've done. <laughs> Look, I just, I, I, you know, things remind me of things, and sometimes you gotta go off the beaten path. Yeah, we're getting little. crazy, dude. But, uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Jolene, and we'll see you guys next time! Bye! -bye. Bye.